Yeah, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Anam pavana sampaknam. The mind needs some quiet time. It spends all of its time working, taking in an information from outside, trying to figure out what to do with it. It doesn't have enough time to pay attention to itself. What are its needs? It needs a place to rest. It needs a place where it can see things clearly, so that its decisions are not going to cause suffering. If you spend your time running around all the time, you don't see much clearly at all, like running past a tree. If someone were to ask you, okay, what was in the tree, you probably wouldn't be able to answer. Everything was a blur. But if you stop and stand and look at the tree, you can see clearly, oh, it has this kind of leaf, and it's this kind of tree, and it has these kind of animals, and maybe it's sick, and maybe it's not. You can see these things clearly, because you're standing still. Same with the mind. You want to see the mind. You have to be still here, right at the breath, and then any movement in the mind you're going to see clearly. That way things that used to be subconscious suddenly come up into the light of your consciousness. And you see these decisions that were driving your life that didn't make any sense. You see them actually happening. You realize, I don't have to follow those decisions. I can make other decisions. That way you take control because you see clearly. So try to get the mind really still. Give it some quiet time where it's not taking on other burdens. Just focus on getting it self-centered, getting it self-still. It's still a kind of work, but it's good work. It's work that energizes the mind and develops all kinds of good qualities in the mind. Qualities like mindfulness and alertness, things you need to use every day anyhow, but here you're exercising them in a way that makes them more continuous, makes them more solid and reliable. So focus on this one job of getting the mind still and keeping it still no matter what. And Emotions may come up, there may be anger coming up, or greed coming up, or fear coming up, but you don't have to go with them. They come up and then they just disappear. If you take them on, all of a sudden they become part of you and then they don't disappear, then they, then they take over your life. But if you can see, okay, there's anger, but I don't have to get involved. Here's fear, I don't have to get involved. And when you're not getting involved like that, then you can see okay, when, which parts of the mind actually make sense and which ones don't. It's like getting a glass of water and it's murky, and you let it sit for a while and the murkiness settles down to the bottom and the rest of the water is clear. That way you can see what's there. It's the same with the mind. If it's been stirring up all day, it's going to be murky. But if you give it some time to be clear, you can begin to see, okay, this is what's actually going on in my life and this is what I really want and this is not what I really want. And when things are clear like this, you can make much better decisions.